For the Mini John Cooper Works GP development, the aerodynamicists put really tough requirements to our model shop, especially regarding tolerance and setting options. In addition to measuring, we also produce the prototype parts in our model shop. After the aerodynamicists have defined a shape for the rear wing by simulations, we produce a mold from the digital data with a CNC milling machine. Due to the shape of the wing, the mold has to be split into separate parts. Before we can proceed with any lamination, the surfaces of the mold must be sealed with a release agent. The next step is to start the lamination process. This is done by applying epoxy resin on a carbon fiber mat in several layers to form the sandwich that gives the wing its strength. After the mold has been sealed and released, a clear shell coat is applied to help supply the best possible finish. To avoid any air bubbles between the different layers, the molds are placed in a purpose-made vacuum bag and left to cure for 16 hours. After the wing has been removed from the mold, it gets prepared for mounting on the test vehicle. Especially the rear wing has to be set in a very precise way. Not only parts like wings and bumpers require this kind of precise treatment, but also measures on the underbody. Therefore, we use our 3D measuring machines, which proved an inaccuracy smaller than one-tenth of a millimeter. We're equipped with measuring systems which have 3D measuring machines installed for the top and bottom of the car. So the best equipment is used for the fastest Mini ever.